Hey, good morning, y'all. Welcome to or welcome back to Figs Outside. <sighs> it's a beautiful, smoky morning. Um, so anyway, I was just going to do a uh, quick little review on my new footwear here. Uh, this is going to be for the wintertime. These are the Kenetrek Mountain Extreme 400s. Um, they're a 400 gram thinsulate insulated boot and uh, it gets a little cold here in the winter. So never needed them before. I was going to give these a try. Um, <clears throat> I've been wearing crispy hunting boots for quite a few years now. Um, I love them. They're amazing. Uh, but I, I like trying different stuff, you know, and I'm not sponsored by anybody. So why not give the Kenetrex a try? I know a lot of people that have them and they love them. So we're just going to do a quick little review away and uh, we're going to check them out. All right. Open the box up. And so with Kenetrek boots and a lot of the other uh, high-end brand boots, they're all made in Europe and Italy. And so these ones are also, as you can see right there, that is them. Mountain Extreme 400s. These are the size 11 mediums. They're made in Italy. They also have um, a narrow and a wide, so they cover a wide variety of uh, different foot widths. So yes, these boots are pretty expensive. Uh, I've seen them run anywhere from 480 to 550. So, um, but you get quality when you spend the money. So just like uh, my hunting boots, the Krispies, you know, they're 300 of, they're anywhere from, well, I've seen them anywhere from 250 up to 400 and plus, uh, depending upon the boot. And so here they are. Here's a good look at them. We're getting these. So there's the warranty, kind of goes over that. Um, they're waterproof and uh, windproof workwear. It's kind of funny. Talks about the Thinsulate. Um, there it is there. We'll go with these ones. So nice quality laces. Um, let's see. So these are really nice, um, just like on a lot of high quality footwear the eyelet moves a little bit you got this which locks your heel in and then they're laced they're also um, a 10 inch tall boot so that's kind of nice they have the seamless what they call the seamless tongue goes all the way up to the top of the boot and that's for waterproofness and also it helps with not getting stuff inside the boot when you're going through a lot of brush and you're not wearing gaiters or whatnot um, let's take a look at this nice heavy duty Quality laces, they got heavy duty Cordura, nice, uh, so, super soft leather right through there, um, as you guys can see. There it is, double stitched all the way through here, triple stitched in the higher wear areas. You got this nice rubber rand that goes all around the boot, as you can see, and that's for abrasion, scuff, and wear resistance. And so with these boots, um, they use a Wintex insulation, or um, it's not uh, insulation. It's it's kind of like Gore-Tex, but it's their version of it. Um, as you can see, it's a non-vibram sole because it doesn't have that little yellow patch there. It's their own style sole glued on. And then you can also have the soles replaced on these, which is pretty sweet. So if the top of the boot's not that worn out, but the soles are trashed, you can get them resold. Now let's take a look at the insole here. If I can get it out, it's in there pretty tight. So it's a nice heavy duty. I don't know if you can see that quilted on the inside. That's the insole, guys. Pretty rigid. It's got nice, nice, nice arch support. Pretty rigid, but soft. Um, that should work really, really well. Slips in pretty nice. So, let's take away on these boots, huh, guys? Ooh, so. And you can see it. Zero it out. So, 
two pounds, two point six ounces. And of course, it's got the little tag. Let's see if that tag makes a difference. <laughs> I just want to see. No, two point two six ounces. All right. So with that, we'll measure both, or we'll weigh both boots. Stuff in there. Just because I've gotten that before. Well, what do instead of each boot, what do both of them weigh, or both shoes? So. 4.4 4 pounds, 5.3 ounces with both boots. Actually, I know some people are going to ask, let's do this. So we'll go to grams. 981 grams. Man. Whoa, whoa. 1,963 grams. For those of y'all that use grams instead of ounces. So there it is there. Um, yeah, oh, sorry guys. Pretty awesome boot. Pretty awesome looking boots. Um, I'm excited to give them a try this winter. I will definitely know, let you know um, how they work out. And uh, like always with a lot of the boots um, or shoes, uh, that I do these on, I am not going to do a breaking period. I might wear them around the house um, just for a little bit. Um, maybe put a hundred or two hundred yards on them. Not very much at all. And that way, I could just make sure that they fit my feet well, um, that I don't jack up the soles. That way, if I need to return them, I can return them, and and I will leave the tags on them. That's what I usually do. But um, yeah, I just that's what I do, and then. Uh, after I make sure they fit my feet really well, my toes aren't um, stabbing into the ends, they're not slipping around a whole lot, then uh, like what I usually do is uh, I'll put them on and I'm going to take them into the country. I'm going to take them into the back country. I'm going to wear them to see if I get any blisters, um, what the break-in period is on them, if there is any break-in period. Um, just put them straight up to the test, you know, that way... Um, for hunting season or just for packing or whatever, um, they come out of the box, they fit me well with no real mileage on them, and then uh, yeah, I take them to the country. Uh, rocky, steep, brushy, um, loose, and I'll check out the ankle support and uh, whether they make my feet tired or not tired. Um, usually, I'm going to leave the insoles in them, but usually what I like to do is I either go with super feet. I haven't tried the, the sheep's foot yet, or the sheep insoles yet um but i also like the lathrop and sons synergy foot beds those are pretty or the insoles those are pretty awesome i've used those in my crispies for quite a while now but anyway guys so that's it that's a look at the boot and um i'll let you guys know how they are uh, this coming winter um i'll probably do a video on them just to uh, let you guys know since they are a very expensive boot but uh you're going to get what you pay for with a high quality boot um yeah it, it sucks to spend the money but uh yeah same with my crispies i've wore those for a long time i've got i can't even tell you how many miles on them tons and tons of miles uh they are awesome and they, they still work really really well they're still very waterproof and um i've never had issues with them where i know other people that have bought a cheaper cheaper boot um you know it was what they could afford but um they the boots are trashed after two years um and i've got triple to quadruple the mileage out of them Drupal, geez the mileage out of them and the use and the abuse in them and my feet have never hurt i've never had hot spots none of that and they they were right out of the box so and i bought those before i started filming so i never did a review on those but anyway guys i'm just yabbering on so thanks for watching thanks for hanging out real quick guys i uh, just put them on um and just to check them out, that's what they look like. Good looking boot. Um, goes up, goes up to there, and your legs. So it is a full 10 inches. That's what I wore for my work boots. They do feel a little bit stiff, but that's what you want in the soles. Um, and uh, that's, I mean, you know, for the flex, that's what you want, especially when you're ascending or descending. Um, nasty terrain or side hilling they do have a lot of ankle support and that's because of how tall they are and they feel really well around the ankles my heel there's no slippage they got a really nice heel cup 
Um, and of course they're laced to toe so you can adjust the, the squish in your toe to keep your toes from sliding around. All right, guys, okay, that was real quick. All right, bye. And we will uh, catch you guys on the next video. If you want to see some awesome pictures, sunrises, sunset, hunting, um, fishing, you name it, uh, anything in the outdoors, and even some that's not really outdoors. But uh, I got a link in the description below for my Instagram. And uh, yeah, anyway, if you guys could hit that thumbs up button and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. And we will catch up with you guys on the next time. Have a good day. All right, bye.